Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh and below is my web homepage where you can access much more details about me and can leave your very valuable feedback. Now let us proceed and try to find out what we have got in this video. In this video I have got a new lesson for all of you and for that first of all I'm going to check the status if my servers are running and MySQL is doing pretty good so I'll just say service Apache 2 status so it's running good for us I'll move my lesson files from root desktop lesson 24 to slash var and in that www master like as always I will again travel to the path that is slash war www and master I'll quickly unzip the file contents of lesson 24.zip it's pretty good now I'll travel to here again and I I would recommend all of you to travel into the directories at least for once and go and have a look on this file that is index.php so in this file surprisingly we have got a lots of uh, blacklist things here is our blacklist function which we are quite usual to so we have got a asterisk blacklisted we have got a hyphen hyphen blacklisted just like uh, in the previous video but again the thing interesting things get interesting out here we've got union in a blacklist you may have got uh, select in the blacklist and that makes our task a bit more tough so how to deal up with these kinds of things for that we have to start our Firefox and this ampersand is just to run it in a background process I hope you know that much of Linux and if not you can work out on a Linux uh, Windows platform as well so 24 so union and select uh, the color is a little bit uh, non-visual out here but still I hope you are on to your own PC and can uh, point out to your eyes uh, point, give some pain to your eyes to see actually it I'm really uh, sorry about it so it says question mark ID is equals to one login some name if I do a single quote here it's giving me an error but if I do a hyphen hyphen plus here it's not going to work so uh, this is really a problem how to proceed in this case now what we can do here is uh, like the previous video I could have use person 26 person 26 single quote 1 and now it's working I could have checked it by using a 0 here and it's not because it's an end statement both the things need to be true but again in this case uh, last time order by is not going to work because the OR portion of the order uh, will be filtered out but let's say in this case union select and I have to give one two three and it's not going to work and I know that very well because it's just filtering out the things uh, you can see that out quite easily that one two three and these are being the output let's try to filter it by the last uh, thing that we have learned that is percent a0 and in place of space percent a0 and here also I'll implement percent a0 and okay things are still not working now that's something unusual but what I can do in this case is very simple I can change this to a, a case uh, that is not matching to anything and you can see things are working now if I place a zero here numbers are being displayed so what I want to focus you is that there is also a technique you can personally call it I call it as a personally as the camel case uh, union in which you can just uh, filter out the union by just making mismatch of the key specific values some are in caps some are not in the caps it's not necessary that you always put a n out here but if you'll not do that will going to happen you can also put o as a caps so I hope you uh, got notice what is our goal here 
since the entire caps union is being filtered entire small uh, without caps union is being filtered likewise the select so we are not going to be able to put it that but if a user is pretty smart he has make uh, some regular expressions on the union that could make it a little bit difficult for us but hey uh, we actually learn by difficulties so uh, make sure that you keep trying on these so this was all the small lessons on the lesson 24 uh, rest of the thing is on just on to your try uh, give it a try keep enjoying the SQL injection series. Thank you so much for watching.